Ready? Yes. All right. <laughs> Next. Girls put themselves in, prox in the proximity of men they hope to meet. Absolutely accurate. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, I can't make, they're not going to talk to you. <laughs> they're not going to make eye contact with you. They'll make a little eye contact. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but the, the, the joke yet actuality of it is, you, you go to a party, you go, I wonder which girls are like interested in <laughs> Look over, not directly, but over to the side. And if you see three girls, it's the girl with her back to you. That's who's interested in you. Because she's asking her friends, is he looking at me? Yeah, he's looking at you. Okay. What's he doing now? They it's they true. will not even, but they will put themselves, and they'll tell you, and girls will, every once in a while, they'll like drop like a story where they like take an hour to get ready every day because they know this guy that they've never spoke to walks down the hallway yeah. and she'll pass him. Yeah. And that's all she's going to do. They will put themselves in your proximity. They will not risk any time. Some girls will go to further. I mean, you see some TikToks where girls go, yeah, I saw this guy and I tracked down his mother. I became friends with his mother. Ooh. She introduced us. Yeah. You know, and women all go, yeah, okay. You know, yeah. And if a guy, if a guy, you know, admitted to that, they'd be like, Oh my God, he's insane. He's a stock. You know, I mean, I don't know if I should be with him anymore. Oh, we get accused of that too. Yeah. I mean, it's nuts. But I mean, girls will to different degrees. Yeah. Because one, they have a fear of rejection. That that is what, you know, the average answer. But remember, women want things to just happen. It's like why they hate being on dating apps by and far. Because they're having to take action to make something that in their mind, and I mean deeply embedded in their head, things should just happen. Like they should just be like every fucking sex in the city episode, just walking down the street to her jobby job. And you know, Mr. Big shows up just happened. He just ran, he into, just her. ran into her and she just was overwhelmed with her beauty and charm <laughs> done. And then she's married and that's, they want to it believe. It did take her about 10 years to get him to marry her. I will say, just for the record, he left her at the altar once, like all kinds of stuff. It was very dramatic. It's everything a girl could hope for. <laughs> and it was all just happening. Girls, remember, sex has to just happen. You have to make it happen. Everything for a girl in her mind. But so that's why most, and there's also the fear of rejection, and they're just not going to do it. Yeah. But you need to be aware of if a girl is in your proxy, if you run into a girl twice, it's probably not by coincidence. You can't, you have nothing to lose by talking to her. Yeah. Guys are like, oh, I don't know. You just open your mouth. No sex has ever happened without a guy saying hi. That's right. You got to start with, hey, what's up? You know, just something, anything, get the conversation going. And that's why I tell guys, you just go. And if they're nearby, there's a reason. They don't set themselves up. They will not sit right next to you just by chance. Right. You know, sometimes, I mean, you're talking about like, a crowded room there's no other chairs but they they do it begrudgingly if they don't know you you know so so Fort Worth and I met online mm -hmm. but when I met my husband <laughs> it was very much a proximity thing so we were in a class together we were sitting kind of across from each other every once we would like every once in a while we would like make eye contact and then one morning I realized that we had pulled up to the parking lot at the same time. That's good. And you can bet your ass that every day after that, I made absolute sure that I had a cute little matching outfit, that I had my toenails painted, that I had everything was perfect, and that I was there at that exact time so that we could accidentally on purpose walk together up to the university and and that is great he said hey he said hey 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 and that's how children are formed right there by by walking in a parking lot somebody says hey exactly and then you end up like with children sometimes sooner than later i mean five years later yeah seriously i yeah. mean that's and he was just going about his date. So many guys end up with a wife. And he had no intention of ever had, No, none. <laughs> They're not wanting to get married. They have no plans on getting married. They have no plans. 
They're like, no, nah, kids, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I when I'm 70. Kids. Yeah, maybe when I'm 100. <laughs> maybe when I'm dead, they can use my sperm. Jokes on him. He got lots of them. Yeah, it's nuts. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That is a good example. And it happens a million times a day. Yeah. yeah. So if she's nearby, hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? They'll let they'll pick up on the small talk themselves. It yeah. happens all the time. It's true. You know, it's true. they're not there by accident. All right. We've got some great questions here. Jake, is it a good idea to use the 